Hello! Um, anyone who knows me personally, or if you've watched any of the other videos, you'll see that I always end up getting involved with some old machinery. I can't quite help myself, so I always end up with uh, refurbing old compressors or generators or tractors or you know I do like a bit of old tat so <laughs> what I've got to show you today is the latest addition to the fleet this is a fantastic bit of kit and I'm re really excited about it at the minute um, it's something that I haven't had before and it's it's an unusual little bit of kit but I'm sure it's going to come in really really handy or I'm convincing myself it's going to be coming really handy anyway I'll walk you around it and you can have your have a assessment for yourself see what you think so here she is this is the latest edition um, I've had similar things before but I've never had one of these so if anyone knows about these please give me a drop me a line or drop me an email and let me know this is a Bradshaw's plant trailer it's got a little Honda engine under the seat here electric start it's got a tip and body on it which I'll demonstrate in a minute it's got cage sides which um, is going to come in really handy for the old gardening jobs um, this is mental I have had a little bit of a go on this and it's like trying to drive a psychopathic mobility scooter we've got a engage gear engage here and a gear disengage this is the throttle this is the uh, park and brake you've also got foot brake down here and you've got a three speed box so you've got three forward gears and a reverse gear but it's a crash box so you have to bang them in this is a steering which is absolutely bonkers but it's pretty cool because you can you can turn really sharply almost turn sort of 90 degrees um, yeah wicked bit of kit so this is going to come in really handy for all them little gardening jobs and for firewood and bits and pieces here so i'll have a little fire up in a bit and i'll show you the tipper and i'll show you how it drives about yeah it's quite cool the other nice thing is it's got electronic start which is totally like space age for me drive round on this today, get used to the controls and then um, we'll get it to work. and getting used to <laughs> um, with that steering arm on there like that it turns really really tightly so yeah that's that's nuts right the plan is get rid of all this old crap out of here and go on the fire heap load that up onto the trolley see how much we can get on there weight wise I'm quite interested to see how much that's going to take we're going to clear a lot of this crap out of this out of this little lean-to here so that way I can get the mower in there 
and that and I've got a little box trailer as well I want to get in here at, at, in the cover so we've got enough room if we clear all this crap out of the way so something with pile Bedford Super Vega door but that quite a nice door for something or other but yeah far too rare to throw away So there's nowhere near half a ton on there but there's a bit of weight on there so we'll just see how well she pull off. learn how to drive it a bit. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm kind of got to suss out the throttle and the brake thing. That's got an engine brake and a like a, a handbrake. So yeah, one it's all a bit mental. It goes like hell in third gear, even with a full load on. So yeah, I need to suss all that out. But so far, so good. So I'm all done for the day, time for the pub for me, um, tucked away in the shed so it's nice and uh, nice and dry in here. If anyone's got any information on these please email me because um, I'd like to know a bit more about it. Um, it's Bradshaws in Peterborough, they still make agricultural vehicles but I've never seen anyone anything quite like this one. So if anyone's got any information just send it through to me, that'd be great. Um, I've really enjoyed it today, it's been a bit like driving an out of control mobility scooter but <laughs> good fun anyway and I'm sure this is going to be on many more videos it's going to come in handy for the sort of things I need it for anyway anyway take care thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you on the next one